I used to crowd surf every show. I'd stop doing it because I mean, I have a lot more female fans now who will not only, you know, kind of try to get after it. Yeah, I've been but... wondering because sometimes y'all be in shorts and I'll be like, yeah. Ah! The, the... From Amazon Music, it's the walk in, honey. Oh. Welcome, 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 welcome to The Walk-In. We are in sunny Los Angeles. I'm your fashion tour guide, Mo Hard, and today we are going to the closet of Young Gravy. Young Gravy is a chart-topping rapper and certified internet sensation who has become popular from his smash hit, Mr. Clean. With his laid-back flow and 70s vibe, he has become a nationwide star, selling out concerts and racking up millions of followers on social media. Let's go meet Young Gravy. I wonder if he brought some biscuits. Young Gravy! What's up? What's up and he's tall. This is my boo. How are you? Good now that I know that I found my future husband. Yeah, what's up, baby? Perfect for the wedding. All right, all right bet. Say less. Okay, less. so welcome to the walk in. Young Gravy and I are getting married. Our two twin kids will be called Biscuits and Sausage because he's the gravy. Done, right? Yeah, Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say less. And shout out to Minnesota. Y'all make them right out there. Let's go check out the closet. Let's get it. Young Good Gravy. Job. Your closet looks amazing. We call this section the rewind. Tell us about this look. Tell us about who you were when you came out with this and what was going on. I spoke with Avril Lavigne and she said that she gave you a hoodie, so I brought a hoodie. Wait, so I get to keep this one? Yeah, that's for you. You know this is one of my favorite colors! I figured you'd like that color. It's, it's an amazing color. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you wore it a couple times? Yeah, it's got my essence in it. These next three shirts, uh -huh. I was told that y'all had a steamer and I had to get these shirts steamed. So I put them in my bag. So they're can, fine. We can forget those. These are nice shirts. This here. Koji. The Koji shirt. Koji. Okay, okay, okay. So this is probably the shirt that I've worn the most throughout my whole lifetime. Okay. I, I get roasted very often by my tour crew, everybody, because I mean, I've had this since I was 18 and I would just wear it. I've worn it at shows so many times. Everyone see me in this shirt, passed out in the street with this shirt on. Uh, I've been arrested with this shirt on. I've had a lot of things happen. Everybody go, please look for all the mud shot with this shirt yeah, on. Yeah, I've had a lot of things happen with this shirt on. How did you get started? Who were your inspirations? I started on straight up SoundCloud when I started rapping. Era of like Lil Pump, Lil Yachty, Lil Peep, those are some of the artists that kind of inspired me because okay. they, they would do their thing and be unique and pop off. How has it been hearing your music? Like you just said you went to a wedding. It's, it is wild. It, it's really wild, especially lately with Betty. I'll hear it on the radio. We were on a trip to a show and I had to take a piss. So we got out and I went into this arena and it was a kid's hockey tournament and, and they were playing my song in there and I was like, yeah, middle of I like, gotta pee. Yeah. Let's go pee here. In the middle of nowhere. And, and I just, yeah, walked in bunch of hockey kids walking around that are like 10. But my song was playing and I thought, wow, so these people hear it too? I love, yeah. it's so surreal. Okay, this is Paige. These are nice. So these are the jeans. If you, if you flip it around, you might see some damage. I mean, I think the, the cheeks might be a little bit Oh, damaged. you was throwing it back. I was throwing it throwing back. Throwing that in a circle, circle. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I threw my ass in a dodecahedron or something. Ah! I live. Tell us about this belt. This looks real. This looks That's designer. A, yeah, that is real. It's a Ferragamo belt, you know. It, it oh! has a little something. Yeah. Okay, I thought this was the Mighty Ducks, but this is Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. You got your name is on yeah. the belt. So, so what happened here? Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh -huh. great, great hockey team. They started using my song as their victory song, and then they started inviting me to games. Uh -huh. and I went to a few games. They gifted me this jersey at one of the first games I went to because I started performing for them. Yeah. And then they actually won the Stanley Cup twice in a row. With your song being? With my song being their thing. And then all of the Stanley Cup rings had, had my song title printed on the ring. My mom's I house. Know. Yeah, almost forgot. Oh, is this a Gucci bag? This is, the most, this is the most classic item I own. This is my first big purchase when I started making money off music. Every pocket has its own purpose. You know, we got the cords over here, sunglasses, personal care items, all the very important things. Oh. Yep, chains, condoms, all that. See, condoms and the music all in one. These sunglasses right here. Mm -hmm. These are basically the classic gravy shades. Mm -hmm. They're good quality, 
They protect you from the sun. They fit the vibe. Would you put them on? You want to try them on? Uh, my lashes might hinder me, but. But just see if you can. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Start hand in hand. My love. Romeo, Romeo, where far out thou, Romeo? Right here, b Okay, Young Gravy, this was so good getting to know who you are, getting to know the beginnings of your fashion, of your story. But now we are gonna push on to the future, okay? And find out when are you gonna let me have this jacket? That's a maybe. Uh, okay, That's a maybe. okay, okay. What about the Versace? Borrow it. Hey, that that could be. That okay, could be I'm here that for that. Yeah. Tell us about this, babe. So what we got right here, it's a bit overplayed now. Everyone's kind of done their thing with the Versace robe. But basically, I acquired this as one of my first purchases after becoming a rapper. I was living with Carl Anthony Towns, the basketball player. Okay. He invited me to this Cosmopolitan event. Uh -huh. well, it was real fancy. It was a lot of athletes and fancy people. And I decided that I was just gonna wear a bathrobe with my boxers and show up to the event. I don't know why, I was like, you know what, this just feels right. I'm gonna make some friends. I met a lot of good friends that night. What shoes did you wear? I was wearing these exact shoes. That's why I wore them today. Yes. And point the toe, point the toe, yeah. babe, point the toe. So but yes, babe! Come through. All right, now tell us about this. Gorgeous, right? This was for the Oops music video. Uh -huh. A hit amongst the, the youngsters. This was the outfit I wore during the video. It was the Lululemon charcoal shorts uh -huh. with this uh, Matt Serafa jacket. I actually wore a jacket that was, that was sourced by a stylist for uh -huh. the video, and then the designer saw the video and mailed me this. Ah. Yes. So was, this is the same jacket that was in the video. On my feet, I had the Kappa puffy sandals. Oh. I'm here for this. This is a whole look. It was a good, it was a good fit. Now question, did you get your toes manicured or do you have crunchy feet? I was wearing socks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, lover, tell us about this lovely turtleneck. So oh. I was wearing that underneath the three piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is for the, the Betty music video. I was with a kangaroo. Uh huh. I had these shoes on. So okay. this was the full outfit. I also wore this suit later in the video, and I wore it at a couple of weddings. And I just wore <laughs> a lot. You're like, baby, I'm gonna get all my money back. Yeah. And this jacket. It's it's fake fur. Mm -hmm. it right? That's hot, right? This is probably one of the cooler things I have. So I actually bought this when I was not blackout drunk, but quite drunk uh, <laughs> on, on Melrose. They had this in the window and it said $900. And I was like, mm -hmm. I bought it. We walked down two blocks, two blocks down, there is an anti-fur rally. <laughs> So I'm wearing this jacket, and everyone's like yeah, looking at me, yelling at me. I just, dude, I just, we, we ran away. <laughs> yeah, yeah as one does. Yeah. Tell us about this one. So this is like the most well-known outfit of mine. Oh, wow. And it's pretty reflective. Oh, All right, okay. let's go, baby. Oh, that fits you. Feels right, right? Oh, yeah, that's fast. So I had this on, I had these pants on, and I had that shirt. So this basically is the outfit that I wore when I walked the VMAs for my very first time with Sherry Nicole, which became a moment for some people. We had a good day. It was a beautiful day. You didn't want to continue the day? She lives in Louisiana. You know, we got Zoom, Skype, uh, FaceTime. And if that worked for a relationship, I'd have too many, <laughs> man, I wish. This is nice. Thank you. So this, I wore on Jimmy Kimmel, which was my first ever like, TV yeah. performance. It's navy, pink, the whole crew I had with me, it was like 10 of us, you know, violin players, keyboard players, pink and navy. Came out beautiful, paired with these shoes. It was gorgeous, it was gorgeous. I think that's one of my favorite fits I've ever worn. I feel oh. like this man drinks whiskey, slowly. I, he me. does, yeah. he does. Oh, okay, love He me. absolutely does, you, you read me, yep. Have you ever thrown something into the crowd and some girl or somebody got hit? Ah, oh, he hit me! There's been a lot of those, honestly. I, I throw a lot of things in the crowd. But a lot of times they're like thankful. They're like, yo, I'll never forget this. That's like, part. here's my, <laughs> here's my scar. I was performing one time and I kicked my shoe off like Patti LaBelle. Patti LaBelle normally kicks her shoes off to the back of the room. But I kicked you did off to the stage and it just whoop, 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 bam! And she was like, yeah! And I was like, keep going with the song, baby. She lived. Love that. Live, you know, I stopped crowd surfing. I used to crowd surf every show. I didn't expect 
be so uncomfortable? No, I'm, I'm 210 pounds. Where? Just stretched. <laughs> and just I just stopped doing it because I mean, there, I have a lot more female fans now who will not only, you know, kind of try to get after it. Yeah, I've been but... wondering because sometimes y'all be in shorts and I'll be like. Yeah. Ah! No, no. Well, at one point, I did have a lot of these sort of like high school football players that were my fans. So it was like easy. Oh, yeah. You know? I think I went like a year or two without touring and I went and had crowd surf and I was like, oh, this is not feeling as sturdy as usual. These the girls are like, oh. The fan base kind of changed a little bit. The fan base changed a little bit. Gravy, tell me about the new music that you have out. Tell us about this tour. All I gotta say is it's, it's marvelous. <laughs> Album dropped, 15 songs. Fifteen. Fifteen. You was just in the booth writing. I was, and I. It's overdue. It's overdue. It's my third studio album. It's pure gravy. What separates this project from the other ones? I got way better at making music, so I think if you're just getting introduced to gravy now, good time to start. Check out the catalog, but but you know, this dive in now. I'm ready for the marvelous merge. That's what I'm ready to. Tell us about these tours. Do you know where you're going? Unfortunately for y'all, it's just about sold out. But out of <laughs> out of like the 120,000 tickets, I think we sold about 110,000. So really? yeah, we're going out, baby. Thank you so much for letting me into your closet. I wish you the most success. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been a good time. Pray for me, gotta go. We love you. Can we hold him? Oh, oh, he holds me so. Oh. Oh, this is the problem. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch more episodes of The Walk In. And click here to listen to my album, Marvelous, baby. Because it's Marvel. <laughs> Bye! Peace, baby. Oh.